for me, the biggest thing about the whole Ultimate Sexual Health Performance Program, there's just all the information you need in one place. Like, it's an excellent resource, you know, just about the male sexual organ, about how to feed it, how to take care of it and nourish it. So that's, that, that to me is important, you know, having everything there in just one, in, in one place. For me, the, the medical support and foundation, the references that were included in the book were incredibly important to me. It's, it gave me the confidence that the information that I was receiving was valuable to me and that I could trust it. If it wasn't there for me, I would have, honestly, I would have just set the book off to the side and said, okay, this is just another one of those books. But because it was there, it raised the bar for me in terms of, of, of believing in it, believing in the person who wrote the book, and, and, wanting, and wanting to follow it. The thing that this book gave me is it gave me the information, which gave me the tools that I need to feel confident to improve myself. And it get, it's empowered me. And now I can walk away from this experience going, okay, you know what? If something's not working, I can now go and fix it. I know how to go fix it. And I'm going to go fix it because I want to have fun. After I read the book and after I implemented multiple scenario, multiple inputs, multiple things to add in, such as the supplements with the use of the physical exercise, with the use of the, the mental attitude, with the use of uh, other recommendations, the, it, it became a full package. It completed the, the, the necessary requirements to achieve the satisfaction that I was looking for. It was a whole product. It wasn't just somebody with one part of it or one aspect of it. It's, it's a whole health, health environment. So that's, that was important and that, that changed everything. It made everything 100% better. Hi, this is John Abdo. Those are guys who read the book. Now let me explain why I wrote the book. Before I begin, let me just lay it out there. Men are in big trouble and over 90% of them aren't doing a damn thing about it. When trying to tabulate the exact figures, the statistics on erectile dysfunction and other sexual disorders overwhelm the display on my calculator, which basically means there are tens of millions of men in danger. ED and all sexual disorders are bad news, not only for a man's penis, but also for his overall health and life's productivity. It is estimated that up to 50 million men in America and another 150 million worldwide are experiencing ED and other sexual disorders. Surprisingly, and one of the main reasons why I was compelled to develop this program, less than 10% of men ever seek help, while some doctors say it's closer to 5%. That means 90 to 95 percent of men with ED and sexual disorders, or over 35 million men in America alone, are walking around with a cloud over their heads and limp penises tucked in their shorts, confused, depressed, and frustrated about what's happening to them and not knowing where or whom to turn to. Historically, and what goes without saying, it is well known that many men live in quiet desperation about their sexual disorders, hiding it as ferociously as a panicking criminal would hide a smoking gun. In the past, any male sexual disorder was touted as something that's going on between your ears, then doctors ultimately labeled it as impotence. Today, it has been reduced to that short and simple two-letter acronym, ED. This program will certainly introduce you to a variety of methods, services, products, and techniques that you may never have heard about before, so you are among the first to learn about them. If you're a man, doesn't matter what age, this program is for you. If you're a woman, doesn't matter what age, this program is also for you. Couples, of course, it takes two to tango, whether you're just starting to date or ready to celebrate your 50th. This is a program that you will gain great benefit from no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter what your age is, no matter what your interests are. If you're in your 20s or 30s, you will listen to this program searching for information with a what's in it for me attitude. And you will find sections that pertain exactly to your needs at this stage of your life. 10 or 20 years later, when you're in your 40s, you will refer back to this program again to search for information with that same what's in it for me attitude, and guess what? Since biological changes are inevitable with age, 
you will read things and hear things in this program that relate to where you are at in your life that you didn't see or pay attention to years earlier. Especially if you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, you can commit to this program with that What's In It For Me attitude to learn specific information that will directly apply to any stage of your life. I know that some guys out there are okay sexually, and you simply want to get more of what you're already getting and to show off to your wife or girlfriend that you're the best man she's ever had. To say it another way, you just want to get better, much better. Then there are you other guys who simply want to get it back. You used to be that guy I just described, but now you're somebody else, and not by choice. Something has happened, and it's completely out of your control. You can no longer satisfy yourself, which means that your chances of satisfying your sexual partner are slim or none. In fact, you've proven to be a sexual failure more times than you can count. But it doesn't matter which kind of guy you are. If you want to take normal sexual activity and magnify it to the nth degree, or you are in desperate need of restoring your faltering sexuality, libido, and bringing life back to an uncooperative penis, this program is filled with plenty of materials that will put you back in the game. I'm John Abdo. Now let's go and enjoy this program. <laughs> 